Hey guys, and welcome to The Vibe View. Hopefully you guys are all doing well. Sorry that there hasn't been any videos, um, uh, you know, today in general. I literally just got in from work, and I'm going to be doing the preview. This, um, So yeah, let's go. So yeah, hey guys, hopefully you guys are all doing well. Welcome to The Vibe View. In this particular video, this is going to be the preview, match preview for the Champions League game tomorrow. Obviously, uh, it's going to be RP uh, Salzburg, an Austrian team, um, you know, um, I want to say the team that had Haaland, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and obviously, right this second, they've got a Daini, a young German player that's literally, you know, been linked with everyone and their, and their cat. Um, but I feel like Dortmund are probably going to be who signs him if they haven't already. Let me just quickly search him by and into uh, Google so I can grab the, uh, the Champions League. Um, so, yeah. Like I said, we're going to be uh, obviously doing the preview today. Obviously, I'll do my score prediction, my team prediction, and so on. You can let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you do go on to enjoy the video, please smash the thumbs up button. Um, as always, uh, it's very appreciated. So, uh, RB Salzburg versus Bayern Munich, round of 16, uh, leg one of the two, uh, obviously in the Champions League. Uh, for me personally, um, we've had a very, very good run. Uh, in the Champions League by Munich, we, uh, if I quickly search the Champions League, I'm pretty sure we haven't lost a single game. Um, I think only one, t one team scored against us as well, which if I'm pretty sure I'm correct by saying that. So let's go to the table. Uh, so we go to the table by Munich. Um, six wins, zero losses, um, zero draws. Uh, goals 4-22, goals against three. Um, so that's obviously a goal difference of 19. Um, so yeah, now our last, our last five, obviously we've won all of them, but we won all six. Uh, so there's that. If we go to Salzburg, they obviously got a second, um, because obviously that's why we drew them, because we finished top, they finished second. Uh, and in there, they got three wins, one draw, and two losses. They actually knocked out Wolfsburg and um, Sevilla. Uh, with the two teams that got knocked out and then in that group that got number one was uh Lil. Um so yeah, there's that. So they're 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 beatable. Let's just get it twisted, they're beatable. But they're only beatable if we come back from that loss the other night. Um simple as that. If we don't come back from that loss the other night, then they can beat us. Again, like I said, their star player is a dimey. Sorry if you can hear the background noise. Um their their main player is a dimey. He is their main player, if you want to say, um, so yeah, he's we we've been linked to him, and um, him being German and all that, and actually him just scoring lots of goals for them. But um, someone we got to watch out for, obviously, in the past couple of weeks or so, whatever you want to say, uh, Lewandowski has been the guy that has carried our team, and I'm hoping for a good performance tomorrow. Uh, I, I want I want a big big score uh, for us, um, obviously. We haven't got Manuel Neuer in goal, so um, you know you can you can understand if they do score. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it though. So for me personally, I'd have Jurek in goal. Um, I'd actually go back to the uh, three at the back. Um, so I'd go with or five at the back if you want to call it that. So I'd go with um, Jurek in goal, and then the three centre backs would be Upperman, Kano, Sula. No, no, no. Upperman, Cano, Hernandez, and Pavard is what I would do because, or, or I think he'll do, and that's what I'd do as well. Not dropping Sula because of any real reason. Um, you know, at the end of the day, if you're gonna drop anyone for being crap, you drop Upperman, Cano. But at the end of the day, Upperman, Cano is the guy that's got the current contract, and he's gonna be here for a long time, or or the next couple of years, or whatever. So. I don't feel like you make a bad relationship with him now. I understand he had a shit game. He did. I said in my player ratings, and I, I really like Mangano, but it is what it is, and you've got to speak, you know, rather than a speaker from the heart, you've got to use your head. So uh, that would be my three. On the right wing, um, right wing, right wing back um, would be Gnabry. Left wing back would be um, Coman. Obviously, um, we still don't have... Davies and hopefully he gets back soon um so yeah I play Hernandez as a center back tomorrow generally I would I know some people will be like well why play a five at the back um no real reason I just don't see us going with a four because I I feel like Nagelsmann's got to learn from the mistake of the formation that he did and he's not going to want to drop any of the strikers like he did in the other day so uh yeah there's that and then in front of them I go with uh Rocker 
yeah, Rocket and Kimmich, uh, and then what does that make it? That's what five, six, seven, eight, and then I'd go with Muller, Sane, and Lewandowski. That's what that's my team. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Uh, if you disagree with me, let me know why. Let me know who you'd put in instead, uh, and if you agree with me, also. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Um, score prediction. Like I said, I'm I'm looking for a big big score. Uh, they're not a shit team. Uh, yes, they come second. Yes, they lost in the Champions League before, uh, and obviously we didn't. So you know, I don't want to be starting with our first loss in the Champions League coming to um, you know the first knockout game. But for me personally, I'm looking for a four nil. Uh, 4-0, a 5-0, a 6-0. Generally, I want to win, so I don't really care if it's a 1-0. But uh, I don't really care about the clean sheet either. I know some people do, but I generally don't. Um, so if they do score, they score. But for me personally, I'm going to go with a 4-0 win for Bayern Munich. We need to come back. We need to absolutely slap them. Not because it's just in the Champions League. That's one reason. But at the same time, because... Um, just because, really, you know, we need to show that we are the mighty Bayern Munich. You know what I mean? We are the tanks of Europe. OK, we didn't we haven't won the most Champions Leagues in the world, but we need to show that we're, you know, a giant and an active giant, not a sleeping giant, um, which obviously we haven't been because obviously we won it in 2020. But you guys understand what I mean if you if you support the club. Either way, that's going to be it for the video. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below, my score uh, and all of that. Smash the thumbs up button if you have enjoyed. Hit the big old red subscribe button if you haven't already. And um, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to upload this as soon as possible. At the time of recording this, it's just hit four in the afternoon. So I'm going to try and get this up for you guys as soon as possible. So then I can, because I've got two more videos today. I've actually got f three more videos to do today. Uh, but I'm going to put one of them up for you guys in the four the morning. Um, so yeah, that's going to be that though. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one in the next couple of hours. Till then, Mia Samia, peace out.